So I think drones are some of the coolest technology of this year. Today we're gonna to review a couple of these drones starting with the Spark and working our way all the way up to the Inspire 2 with my buddy, Devin Supertramp. He's unpacking that drone right now. We're gonna fly him here inside Devin's office and we're gonna measure the decibel levels of the props and talk a little bit about the drones individually. And I have an extra DJI Spark that I'm gonna be giving away at the end of this video. So stick around for those details. Let's get started. All right, so these are all of DJI's drones. We'll start here with the Spark. We have the Mavic Pro, and then we have the Mavic Pro Platinum, which is a drone that DJI recently released. There's a couple minor differences, mostly in the propellers. You can see the shape difference between the regular Mavic Pro and the Mavic Pro Platinum. We'll talk more about this in a second, but apparently this is supposed to be slightly more aerodynamic, a little bit quieter, and because of that, there's a little more flight time. Then we have the Phantom 4. These props are not collapsible, and it's not as portable. We'll talk about that in a second and then here we have the Inspire 2 which is an incredible step up from all of the lesser drones. This drone right here belongs to my buddy Devin who has a channel called Devin Super Tramp and Devin tell me why you chose this drone over all of the other ones. So we originally started with the Phantom 4 absolutely love this drone and then we upgraded to the Inspire 2 you're looking with the whole package $10,000 plus. But for us, we do this as a business, and for us, we work with a lot of different companies filming commercials, so this is a commercial drone, um, as far as like they even use this in Hollywood for a lot of stuff as well. And it films in 6K, it can go um, extremely fast. I wanna say they, they say it can go around 55, 57 miles per hour. Super fast, image is incredible, super stable. One thing I wanna point out that the sensor size of this drone is huge. Like if you look at that compared to the Phantom 4, like the sensor behind this thing is gonna be so much smaller and even more so with this Mavic Pro Platinum. As far as like going cinematically, um, that has to do with the lenses. So the lenses on the actual Inspire 2 are interchangeable. Here we have a 16 millimeter, a 35, 24, and a 50 millimeter lens that we can hot swap um, and get that super cinematic look. All right, so jumping back to resolution, we have the DJI Spark, which is the cheapest of all of these drones. I think this one is right around 500 bucks for the whole package. It's got an extremely small sensor, does 1080p, but it's still a good little drone. But the reason for this video today is the newest drone that DJI has released called the Mavic Pro Platinum. You can see that the Platinum is a slightly different color than the regular one back here. And with that different color, there's a slight increase in price and a slight increase in flying time. It can fly an additional three minutes. So instead of 27 minutes of flight time, you have 30 minutes of flight time. I don't know if that's worth the extra price, but it's kind of fun. The reason for that slight difference in flight time is because the propellers are quieter. I think there's less drag. I'm not an expert in aerodynamics, but because of that less drag, the propeller isn't making as much noise and it can support itself for longer. Right now we're gonna take this little device right here which measures the decibel levels of the drones and we're gonna see which drone is the quietest, which I think we know which one that is, and to see if there's a difference between the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Pro Platinum. And finally, we'll finish off with Devin and his super drone here at the end and we'll see how loud that thing really is. Or how quiet. The size of the blade is actually roughly oh man, two and a half times bigger than the drone itself. So, slight disclaimer, I've never flown this drone before, so we're gonna find out how well it really flies. I'm worried <laughs> to the big guy. So the little guy is gonna be a whole different story. All right, so we are currently going through technical difficulties. We have to update the spark before it'll take off inside of here. So while we're waiting for that, Devin, where is the most interesting place you have flown your DJI Inspire? The scariest place, Easter Island. We're always traveling all over the world. Easter Island, though, we didn't realize like you're not allowed to fight drones at all on that island. Um, so we took off, and within a minute, minute and a half, we were surrounded by police officers. They grabbed us all, they threw us against the car, and they made it very apparent that you are not allowed to fly drones um, on Easter Island. And they took the drone, and they said if we took off again, that they'd put us in prison. We didn't fly for the rest of the trip, which was a bummer, because we spent, we fly across, halfway across the world to fly a drone, and then all of a sudden we're not allowed to fly it at all. Um, we did our homework, we'd seen other people that have flown drones out there, but they must have done it super under the radar but it's the island with all the crazy um, rock heads. And I mean, that place within itself has its own amazing history. Um, crazy, insane place. And what's this one right here? So this is New Zealand. We actually flew a drone there as well. And this is Hobbiton where they actually filmed Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. So we got special privileges, special access from New Zealand tourism to, to fly there. And each one of these pictures has their own story. This was on the back lot of Universal Studios um, for Overwatch video, which actually, it's a long story, but we're not allowed to release it um, for legal reasons. So you'll never see that video. We should be good to go. 
Three, two, one. Yes. All right, so we're about a foot away from the blades right now, the propellers, and it's about 91 decibels going from the drone. Was that your first time flying this drone? First time flying the Spark. No <laughs> crash, no crash landing. Okay, so right now this is set to track the max decibel level, you know, the peak that it reached. And so the peak that it reached with the Spark was 94. Now I imagine that the decibel level between all of these is gonna be pretty darn similar. But let's try the DJI Mavic Pro. It's almost double the size of the props. We'll see if it's twice as loud. All right, so now we're gonna take off with the Mavic Pro. This is the second time Devin has flown one of these. The first time we were in Hawaii, right? And what did you do with it? I, I almost destroyed it. Um, it got so bad that you actually had to take the controller away from me. <laughs> yeah, we were at like Jurassic Park. I think it's a video on What's Inside's YouTube channel, but Devin was uh, flying it around and he went through some really tall weeds. He's getting a second chance here. Though. Second chance, time to redeem myself. Here we go, I stand back a little bit, safety first. <laughs> Right now we're registering at about 85, which is actually lower than the Spark, so I'm surprised about that. Do you see that? You're, you're doing almost the ceiling? I'm not gonna do it again. Do it again. <laughs> All right, so that time we were at 89.9, which is a few decibels less than what the Spark is. The decibel scale, I think it's like a log based scale. So it's not like an exponential scale, but it does go up considerably with each, you know, 10 sets of decibels. So this is DJI's newest drone, the DJI Mavic Platinum. I think it's gonna be a little bit quieter than the DJI Mavic Pro. So these are the two propellers that we're looking at. You can see the propellers for this one are just like, you know, straight out. And then these ones are shaped differently. Now I'm not sure what the aerodynamics of the blade has to do with it, but let's see how much quieter or efficient this is. Step back, easy. 81. So just off of your ear alone, what do you think? Which one is quietest? This is by far the quietest. Substantially, in my opinion. So that one ended up being 83, which is seven decibels less than the 90 from the previous Mavic. So it is considerably quieter. Which my mind's blown, because this one's so much smaller, so I would have initially thought this would be much quieter. The reason helicopters make noise is something called the like blade vortex interaction, and the sound you hear from a drone or from a helicopter is the sound of the blade hitting that pocket of air or that vortex from the previous blade, because you know, the way it's slicing through the air. And so I imagine that however this tip or this fin is, it's minimizing that vortex effect and minimizing the sound because this one was considerably quieter than this drone was. So my question is, now that we're going back to the older shape, when we jump into the DJI uh, Phantom or your drone, how much louder is it really gonna be compared to these ones? The mono truth. So going back to the blade vortex interactions, so this blade, even though it's super small, the pocket of air it creates could be what's making it so much louder. It is interesting that the smaller drone is the loudest so far. But I think that's about to change with the Phantom 4. Stand back, boys and girls. We're at 94 feet right now, 94 in a hover. So we were at 94 to hover and then a 95.9 at the, you know, the full max. I think like snoring is like 40 decibels and a jet plane is like 120 decibels. And this is at 96, we'll just round up and say 96. So it's pretty darn loud for a drone. If you're gonna go for stealth, none of these drones are gonna be good, but so far the Platinum is the quietest. All right, so taking off the Inspire 2. These I'd feel much more confident hitting your fingers, this one will cut off your fingers. So it's like sticking your hand in the blender. <laughs> so stand back a little bit more than normal. I'll try to avoid that part. But yeah, at peak, this was 97.7. So guaranteed, the loudest drone is the DJI Inspire. But I'm curious, 
If DJI was able to make the smaller props quieter, do you think they could put that same style on this and make the bigger drone quieter? I, I, I want to say yes. Um, and, the, and actually, the Inspire 2 has two different kinds of blades already. These are your standard ones. We also have high altitude, so when we're out here in Utah and we're higher up elevation, they are thinner, so those actually handle differently too. So I'd be curious too if those sound quieter than these as well. Hmm. But I was looking over here because I was afraid this picture was going to fall down. Oh, but it, it is now cricket, so the whole picture went like this from the air pushing out this way. So this is definitely the most powerful. And even though we saw, was it 96 or what was it, 99? 97.7. 97.7. So even though we saw it 97.7, I wasn't moving fast at all just because, but if we were taking it out going 58 miles per hour, I think it was going to be a much different um, than all these drones combined. So either way, all of the drones are extremely loud. There's going to be no sneaking up on anyone with any of these things. The thing that I am most shocked about though is that the littlest drone was not the quietest. The quietest drone goes to the DJI Mavic Platinum. Have you ever gotten in trouble for shooting with a drone before? Yeah, so I have gotten in trouble. Full disclaimer, say it how it is. Um, we actually, um, six months ago, um, we were filming in Ireland, give or take, and um, we were filming at Skellig Michael. That's where they filmed the last two Star Wars movies, episode seven, episode eight. And um, very famous part uh, is where Luke meets um, Ray, or Ray meets Luke. And we took the drone from a boat and we're flying over the island. And going back to what we were just talking about as far as the loudness of all these, um, you can't fly a drone in bird sanctuaries. We were outside of the sanctuary, but it was still loud enough that it felt super close to them. So they actually had to radio us in and tell us to kind of not be as close to the island as we were. There are pros and cons with having a big drone. A con is definitely how loud they can get. We would have had a much easier time with a smaller drone, but we wouldn't have gotten the cinematic shots that we got with this one. Star Wars Island video you shot with this drone is coming out today, right Came now. Coming out today, right now. Check it out um, on the YouTube channel, Devin Super Tramp. Um, a lot of work went into it, and it's one of my favorite places in the world. Um, one of the most mysterious places. It has incredible history, and you'll see that history um, on the video, and it shows you a sneak peek, no spoilers, in the actual video for Star Wars, but if you have any interest in Star Wars, it goes over the history of how they made things happen for the actual movie, so I think any Star Wars fan is going to be stoked on it. That'll be tight. I'll leave a link for that video down in the video description. You can check that out, and if you have not seen Devin Supertramp's channel, I'll leave a link for that as well. Thanks a ton for letting me use your office and your... Ins Thanks a ton for letting me use your office and your Inspire 2. I super appreciate it. I am not about to go out and buy one of these. How much did you say it was? Around, just for the body itself is $6,000, but once you start getting the batteries, the camera, and everything else, you're $10,000 to $13,000 into it. Wow. So drones are expensive, but the consumer drones are way less expensive than this. Now these are essentially the same drone. So if you already have the DJI Mavic the Pro, you don't need to go out and buy the Platinum, just because like they're essentially the same. You get three minutes more flight time, and it's slightly quieter. If you're trying to decide between these two, definitely go with the Platinum because of those small differences. So everyone crashes the drone. I've cra Inspire 2, we've crashed three of them. Um, one in the ocean, sad story, but if you're gonna, you're gonna crash a drone if you're just flying, or even if you're professional, so it'd be much better to, to get a smaller, cheaper version, make mistakes on this one before you start getting into these other drones. So definitely keep that in mind as you're considering a drone to get. So I have an extra DJI Spark that I'm gonna give to one of you guys. Now, this is a white version, and it's got like the full package in it with the controllers. I think it's the Fly More package. Either way, it's coming to you guys. I'll leave a link in the video description for that. Thanks a ton for watching. Make sure you check out the Star Wars video on Devin's channel. I'll have that linked for you, and we'll see you in the next one. Over and out.